Okay, our next little lesson on where gold deposits. Have a seat, please. Our next little lesson on where the gold deposits, I've taken the cross section of another creek. Now this one is more of your canyon style creek where you have bedrock around. You got big chunks of bedrock, you got bedrock on the bottom. You have some gravel in the bottom of the creek, but it's not flowing through a big, flat, wide open valley like the last one. This is more of a narrow canyon. Now in a situation like this, just take a cross section, a cut open. You can see the trees and forests and houses and cities and stuff up on top where the creek itself is running down in the bottom of something. Now I say the bottom of something because we have hard bedrock encasing it the whole way. Any gold that gets down, that starts soaking down into this stuff is going to stay within those boundaries. It might flow downhill, but it's not going to settle down any farther than the bedrock itself. In a situation like this, there could be gold all through this gravel. However, you might notice I did label the inside corner, so the whole thing spinning around means that this side here, in general, should have more gold than the other side because it's the inside corner. But there's a couple other spots on here in a situation like this that I would watch for, that I would look for. Well, let's start with, if this is the inside corner and this creek is coming around a bend, the natural first spot to look would be right at the water's edge on that inside corner. If you can find a nice boulder to dig behind, something like that on that inside edge, I would start looking there. The next place I would look in a situation like this is I would imagine that at high water, this is full, full, and that at high water, this edge over here would be the inside corner, would be edge of the inside corner. So I would check right there next. You notice these little angles I put in there? I call those slough zones because that's the material falling from above landing in little piles, and that would be the inside corner where at high water, gold would be depositing on that edge. Now ideally, if you have time, energy, and the right situation, I would look down, I would dig, 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 dig until you hit the bedrock down here on this inside corner and see what is sitting on bedrock. But that could be Six inches down, it could be six feet down. Could be 60 feet down. You don't really know. But if you can dig down and find the bedrock on that inside corner, that's awesome. Excellent spot. Now, these two little slough zones, let's pretend it's not high water anymore. These two little slough zones, these areas where debris falls from above and lands right there, and right here, those are great little spots to check on both sides. Because when the river millions and millions of years ago was way up at this height, depositing all of this gravel up here, the pay streak could have been anywhere, and the stuff falling off, both sides landing right there, is concentrating material in both of those little corners. Another good spot to look is those slough zones. Is that what it's called in the corners, slough zone? A slough zone, yeah. Where material is sloughing off the bank, but still landing on the edge of the creek. And you actually see a, a deposit, sort of a buildup near the edge of the creek. What does that mean by, like, like do you actually, is that like a real diagram, like a house, like that big of a <laughs> I just drew a little house oh. there. I was just trying to be funny. Okay. Yes, some creeks could be that big, some could be small, but we're talking about creeks that are down in a valley right now. That's what I'm trying to get at. Okay. Another great spot to check if you can, which you can't always. Liam, you pay attention. Another great spot to check if you can is right in there. Because remember, the creek could have been up at that level at some time, could have been leaving a deposit, and all of a sudden, you have access 
to a flat surface of bedrock. Easily, easy digging right there to see if there was gold that was laying on bedrock right there and right here. Same thing on the other side. Now, what I mean by if you can, what I mean by if you can, this could be four feet up. It could be 40 feet up. If it was only four feet up off the ground, that's a great spot to check. If it's 40 feet up the off the ground, no, that's too dangerous to get up there. Also, you got to watch out for overhanging rocks if you're doing something like this. If it's only four feet off the ground and that rock's only five feet off the ground, maybe that's not a big deal. But if this was 10 feet off the ground and that rock was maybe 12, that's really dangerous. So you got to watch out in situations like this that it's safe to do that. But if you can find a spot like this where it is safe, often you can get excellent deposits. Up on Mission Creek, I went up and hiked up Mission Creek. We found a spot like this where this bank was maybe eight feet. Thank you. Where this bank was maybe eight feet high and we could climb up it a little bit because it was slightly jagged. It went up and over and up and over and up like that. And we could actually climb it a little bit. We start digging in there, right at that little that contact between bedrock and gravel, and we pulled out multiple nuggets in one day, going into that little area. And we were only clearing a very small little spot. Okay, so these little areas up here can be great. And the reason that these slough zones can be good is because this stuff is constantly falling down and anything that might be there would end up right there. Typically, if I'm trying to sample one of these slough zones like this, I will try to dig down into the slough zone until I meet up with the gravels below. And you can usually tell the difference between a river wash gravel and a slough zone where the material has just fallen down. You can usually tell the difference. I usually try to dig down through that and see what the difference between the material in the slough and the material in the gravel is. Because you don't know if the, if the gold is coming down in that slough this year, or possibly it's come down year after year after year and every runoff has washed it clean and you can find gold all the way down. You might be able to find all the way down those gravels to the bottom. Okay, remember that, slough zone. Remember that term, slough zone. Remember that gold sits on bedrock. It sits on bedrock. And if you can dig down to bedrock, you're golden. Yes, I meant that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, slough zone, bedrock. Remember those two. Okay, looking at a situation just like this, where you have this gold deposited up on bedrock with material above it. One of the, I would say my best day panning ever. We had a situation just like this, except that this wall, this bedrock wall right here was jagged and it was jagged in a very specific way. It went down and up, down and up, down and up, just like that, all the way down. The river that comes through here in flood, filled up the whole valley and way up. It filled up a lot in flood. And the material above here wasn't just a small bank like this. It was a huge bank of gravel all the way up. Big, big bank of gravel that you could see was constantly falling down. It was always falling down. Now, this day of panning, we went out and we were working this gravel here. We were working that there. We were digging down in the creek trying to find it, and we were finding small pieces. At one point, I took my shovel, I filled up my pan, and clean water rushed over where I was digging. I looked down, and I actually saw a very bright yellow thing in the bottom of the ground, on the, underneath. I got underneath water. It's hard to tell what it is. So I got a special scope I can put in the water to see underneath. Went down, and sure enough, there was a nugget of gold sitting on the ground. 
I had cleaned it off. My shovel missed it, but it left it there sitting on the surface so I could see it. So I picked it up. We continued looking and continued looking and couldn't find another one. I started moving over to the slough zone, and in that slough zone right there, I started picking up small nuggets again. One, two, three of them. Yes, that's four nuggets I'm talking about one day. That's that's amazing. Amazing getting four nuggets in a day. What's the biggest nugget you've ever found? Now, we started looking, and just as luck happened, the slough zone for the day looked like about that. I started digging up into the slough zone, and I cleared out this little crack right here. And in that crack, I found two more nuggets sitting there. Yeah, how many nuggets is that now? Six, Six nuggets, yes. I stood back and looked at it for a while. I looked back like, why are there nuggets halfway up the wall? And I realized that this jagged stuff was catching the material as it was falling down. At high water, it was washing it clean, and the heaviest stuff would be falling into that crack. So just for curiosity's sake, I went up and looked at the next crack and found a couple more nuggets. There were five of us there that day. I called over all my friends, and in that day, we pulled out probably 20 to 30 nuggets out of all the cracks on this wall in one area. You go five feet to one side and there is nothing. You go five feet to the other side and there is nothing. In this one area, it was loaded in nuggets all the way down the wall. We figure there must be a pay streak up here somewhere that was dropping material down in runoff. Runoff was sorting it and leaving the heaviest stuff catching in the cracks. I've been back to that spot three times since that day, and every time I've found something but never the same as that that day was crazy who knows how many years that was collecting gold but it doesn't replenish every year unfortunately it could have been hundreds of years that those those pieces were collecting there what creek was that? mission creek again mission creek you don't find many nuggets on so that was that was something nice to find I do have a picture of all those nuggets somewhere. I don't think it's here at school, though. I'll bring it in one day to show you those nuggets. All right. You started getting the idea of where gold deposits? Next day, we'll start talking about boulders.